Hey, how's it going? Dylan here, and welcome to a new update for cinematic lens flares um, for Unreal Engine. So essentially, I have uh, finally kind of started to crack a real-time version of my asset, which we released uh, earlier in the year, um, which was designed for mainly just cinematic uses because it was incredibly expensive uh, performance-wise, because it did everything at full resolution. So uh, what I've got now is I've actually ported all of that code over to a Niagara subsystem using Grid2D and simulation stages uh, for a like so I can do all the work at a much lower resolution and then an upscale after, which lets me do uh, kind of have a more real time uh, useful effect. Uh, so that's up on Marketplace right now. You can go grab it. And if you've already got the asset, you can update um, and it should come down. So this is just a quick overview of how to actually use that part of the, um, the to use the real-time version of the flares. So a few things you need, um, well, really one thing you need, um, you just grab the latest, and also this is only uh, Unreal Engine 5.4 and above. Um, for this one, it relies on the Niagara Fluids plugin, so that has to be enabled for it to work. Um, because basically it captures the scene color on lower resolution and uses those simulation stages um, to do all the work instead of in a material post-process. So here we are in the scene. It's actually already in here. If I go, you know, if I look around, we've got some nice flares going on. And basically this first release of the real-time version, I wanted it to keep it as close as possible to the original version, just so it has parity in terms of, or almost parity in terms of uh, features and kind of controls are all the same. Now I know there's a lot of things to add to it and improve. Uh, version three of Cinematic Lens Flares, which should come probably around the end of the year or a little bit early next year, is going to have full preset system and I'm going to revamp all of the controls so they're more linear and a little bit clearer and easier to use. But yes, you can still use all of that same controls in your, like the blueprint controlled um, controls in here between your lens halo, lens glints and lens ghosts. Right, so if you want to use the Niagara one, which is already set up in the scene, basically all you have to do, uh, like the old one, when you would add your post-process uh, material to your post-process volume, just here. So under uh, materials, um, instead of using like just the Cinematic Lens Flares BP controlled, you would use the Cinematic Lens Flares V2 Niagara. So you just drag that into here, onto your thing and then place the cinematic lens flares into uh, the blueprint into the scene as well uh, and then you will be ready to rock now a few little things just to say in terms of additions um, because we're doing it at a lower resolution we have this new control here which is cinematic lens flares work resolution which essentially is the resolution that you're doing the work at in night inside of Niagara so at the moment I've got it set to 384 by 218, which is a 16 by nine, um, just a lower version, lower res version of uh, standard kind of aspect ratio. You can set that to whatever you want and leave and forget it. This does get the aspect ratio information from there. Uh, so if you have a resolution in here that doesn't match your aspect ratio, uh, then you may have like a kind of, you know, your the bokeh blur may not be circular or and such. So just keep an eye on that if you're looking to output to different resolutions. Um, if you were using it for a game, what I'd do is anytime the user changes their resolution, you could um, actually set this value via Blueprint uh, to be like a percentage of the full resolution, for example. I wouldn't recommend putting this one above kind of 768. When you, when you kind of get up to higher resolutions, uh, there's some kind of bottleneck in Niagara, seems like. But, you know, the whole point of this is real time, so you wouldn't be doing that anyway. Thanks so much for having a look at the new version of Cinematic Lens Flares. Don't forget to share it around and go purchase, if you like, on the Marketplace or Fab, if Fab's out by the time you see this video. Take care.